Welcome to the Purpose Chasers Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Crandall. In 2015, I dreaded most of my day-to-day life. I was working unfulfilling jobs, wasting time playing video games, binging on TV, just to get my mind off the fact that I had a calling to do more and to be more. For years, I wanted to write a book, to become a paid speaker, and to empower others to achieve their dreams. In 2016, I took a stand. I invite you now to do the same. As Purpose Chasers, we refuse to settle for average. We chase our dreams, we accomplish our goals, and we support, encourage, and challenge our community to create the lives we want to live. Why have we Purpose Chasers taken this stand? Because life is too short to not live fulfilled. Enjoy this episode and take action. Hey guys, as you know, every month I sit down with Mark Crandall and we're going to talk about, or we sit down together since you guys are going to be hearing this on the Purpose Chasers podcast as well. Uh, but we're going to just about kind Justin. of... <laughs> we wanted to fill you guys in because we've officially launched the Purpose and Movement Mastermind. We had our first group call um, and I thought it went pretty well, man. Like, Mark, why don't you kind of give me your feedback on what you thought of the call uh, and kind of what we're projecting to do go for, going forward? I thought, I mean, from the perspective of us, you and I collaborating, I thought it went really, really well. And I'm going to give those of you listening a little inside perspective that Justin may try to edit out of this podcast episode, but I really feel like Justin and I are like peanut butter and jelly. Like we just <laughs> come, we just come together with like in classic fashion. And, you know, there was some, on the call, there was some of like some merging of your audience and, and some of the purpose chasers together. And I thought it went, I was nervous and I thought it went really, really smooth. And you had a member of your audience who actually, you know, joined the inner circle. She was the first member to join the inner circle who kind of fired at me a little bit. And I was like, Oh gosh, they hate me. That's where (laughs) I went in my head. And then, you know, I just did actually just did an hour and a half uh, coaching call with her on Friday and it was, it was pretty epic, but the community itself, the individuals that showed up are like a different breed of individual in the personal development space. I think it was a collection of individuals that are tired of the norm and mm-hmm. want to get together in a way of truly serving each other. And, uh, it was, it was awesome, man. I, I was like really fired up off that call. And of course you and I have been on nonstop calls um, intro calls for individuals wanting to join off that call. So it was cool. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. And it's, it's so funny to, to hear you talk about it because we haven't, we haven't said that to each other. Like I just heard that you saying that for the first time. And I was thinking something very similar when you bring in these two audiences where you, and, and part of the reason why I think we're, as you like to say, peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> um, is because our approaches are very, very different with a similar outcome. Right. And so when somebody has been listening to me for four years and they come in and then you and you start to coach or, you know, take control of the conversation in the manner that you do, which I applaud, um, you know, it's, it's almost like, whoa, what is this? Justin's this lighthearted. I understand and, you know, carry you through and you're very straightforward. Right. And, and there are moments where I can be like that, but that is not what my podcast is all about at this point. And so there, there I was a little nervous. Um, but <laughs> when when everything is said and done at the end of that call, everybody was like, this is amazing. Like, I love the community that you've built. I mean, I, I'd love to talk about this too. We introduced something that you and I haven't seen in any other mastermind, um, which is the, the give and ask, right? And so why don't we talk a little bit about that and why that's so important in, the, in our community? Yeah. And I came up with an idea. So I have seen it in one other mastermind, and, but it was something that they would do at their face-to-face events. And they would create a tracking sheet and then it would just kind of fall off in the weeds. And what was happening even at these events was individuals would, uh, they would be giving and it would be like, I want to give you a free coaching session with me. Right. And like what their give would be nothing more than a sales call to try to sell people in the mastermind into their coaching programs. But what I want to do in what I talked to you about doing, and you actually loved the idea, is create a members area give and ask board. And that is we keep a running tab of each member of our community's gives and asks. And 
you know, at any time, a member of the community could go and give something or they could follow up with, you know, somebody's ask or, you know, go, they could go give something or they could go in there and see, uh, you know, so-and-so is uh, a sales consultant. I need help with my sales. I wonder if they'll jump on a call with me and I'll give them this and maybe they'll give me that. I think it's just a really, really good way to continue. You and I have talked about this a couple of times now, and I won't join a program unless I see a return on my investment. And I know you're the same way. And I know that anyone that joins or is contemplating joining the Purpose of Movement Mastermind is thinking the same way. And what better way to start, you know, come out of the gate seeking a return on your investment than straight up asking what it is you're looking for? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and to, to kind of add to that, I mean, what it does is it creates an unlimited resource for the people in this mastermind to, to level up in all areas of their business. Because when I look at every single person that we've had just on the first call, and as this grows and starts to formulate and the right people fall into place, and the next time Mark and I get together, we're going to talk about you know, the different tiers and how we formatted this to serve everybody in the right way and exactly where they are in their business. But with that being said, you know, it's this unlimited resource to be able to learn about click funnels, about online, you know, Facebook integration, about copywriting, about relationship building, about all these things, meditation, relaxation, all these things that people are adding to the community that's going to level up these individuals' lives um, exponentially. And so imagine literally walking into a room and there's a menu there for you to have the perfect business, the perfect relationship, the perfect life. And that's what's created. Like it gives you that opportunity, um, which I love, but also what I love and, and what the personality that you and I brought into this mastermind is we're a give first community. Like it's not about walk, it's like, I don't think anybody, at least on that first call is going to walk in and be like, the, I'm going to ask, ask, ask. They're all like afraid of asking because they're kind of like us. Um, so there's going to be a ton of giving and, and that's when magic happens. And that's when, you know, we're going to really kind of move this forward. And what I'm excited about is that first call was an introduction, right? It was really like, this is what this is all about. There's the give and ask. And, and we ran that exercise and we did all these things. And as we go forward, we're going to begin to teach and empower and do all these things. And what is kind of your idea of what, what these calls are going to look like going forward? Because I think one big concern with people is that, hey, if I come in at this, this uh, entry level, what we're calling the championship tier, um, how do I get attention? How am I going to learn when there's, you know, 50, 60, a hundred people on a call in the future? What's your, what's your take on that? Yeah. I, what I can say is at least for the early members that come in, I mean, you've already seen it. Like I've gotten on calls with individuals for fun that are, you know, joining the mastermind is, we want to create an atmosphere in which individuals are chasing, right? So individuals are chasing to get better, to climb, to, you know, to get more time with us and to get more time with other individuals. And that is something that I don't necessarily see in the community and also creating an environment where, you know, you and I are accessible to the community, Mm-hmm. And we're not just ghosting and we don't just have admins that are running everything. And granted, you know, we're going to have people help us with the behind the scenes logistical stuff. But, you know, I want to be super present for this community because I'm going to feed off this community as individuals grow and fulfill on what it is that they want to create. Yeah. And, and, I, and I love that whole entire idea. And like, you know, when I look at this first month for these individuals where they get the call, we're actually giving people a call into the, the guest mentor calls that we're going to be doing, which obviously again, tune in, tune in, uh, in a couple of weeks and you can hear more about that. But, um, we also went live in the Facebook group and added value from that standpoint. And I can see us doing that on a more regular basis because you and I are people who just love to pour into individuals. Like, you know, when we look at the inner circle and what we're doing now, people coming in at that level, we're hopping on -on one-on-one calls with them at a price point that makes no sense for us to hop on -on one-on-one calls. Because like you said, we're building this community for them to grow, but also for us to grow, right? This is a new thing for us, not even from a financial standpoint, but from a leveraging standpoint, from a relationship standpoint, all those things. I'm really excited about that. You know, uh, and just being able to pour into them and teach the things that we know, at least fundamentally, that you need to do to grow an online business and an online personality, like that's what these calls are going to be all about when, when we talk about the big group calls, you know? Absolutely. And I think 
I'm like really excited about this and I don't want to rabbit hole too far because I, I know in the last two episodes we've done, you said, oh, that went way too long. And I know that I can get super excited and, and windy. And they, once I start to sit up in my chair, Justin knows it's about to get real. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> you're going to take a nap? You're tired? <laughs> Yo, you I'm got just, this. You got this. Uh, yeah, I'm just really, really excited to see this grow. And you know, after we record these episodes, we're going to be laying out what, you know, what the next several months look like. And I know we already have the first three speakers, you know, guests that are coming in, which I'm super excited about these individuals coming in. And I know that you and I started to create our kind of wish list, the guests that we're going to go after. And the individuals that have already signed up and the individuals that are, that are waiting to sign up, I'm like really, really excited for the, for the breed of individual that we are bringing in. And I know I'll, I'll, I guess this would be a good time to discuss this. So I know that it was stated that Justin was going to give three months for anyone who came to his event. And I think, I don't know, maybe I'm going to speak out of turn. You can edit this out. Uh, I think we can. No, I'm going to agree with you because I already know what you're saying. (laughs) Yeah. I think we should still do that. And, and if an individual, um, gets, you know, a, a VIP ticket to Justin's event. Like I have no problem giving three months into the community. Now, the cool thing that's happening is individuals are upgrading their memberships beyond the free three months already. Yeah. That's the piece that's blowing me away that people believe in what we have created so much that they're saying, I understand you're going to give me three months at this lower level membership, but I want the full ride. That's the piece that's kind of got me going like, wow, that it really blew me away. I was like, wow. Okay. Well, you know, there's been a few people that we've had conversations with the inner circle about and, you know, and one of them just came right out of the gate and said, yeah, man, let's do it. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, let me give you something. Uh, Let's do an hour and a half call where I'm going to outline, you know, a program, your program for you. And then I even dropped a Facebook post for this person. And, you know, now she's got, I don't even know how many people I stopped checking the comments, but I know she's still (laughs) troll. I know she's still trolling that post uh, for people to join her zoom, her zoom meeting this week. So yeah, that kind of blew me away. I'm really, really excited for, for what is coming. Yeah. No. And that's exactly what it is, man. We're building a really cool community. And, you know, you talked about these guest mentors and I'll give uh, one insight. So the first guest mentor call that we're doing uh, is with a guy named Mike Kim, who uh, is a copywriter essentially to some of the biggest brands and individuals in the world, including John Maxwell. Um, So this guy's the master. So imagine coming in and learning from somebody. If you want one-on-one coaching, you're talking $10,000 and you can come in and you can learn from him and how he does it. Maybe it's you know, how do you get that? How do you get somebody to click a link and buy from you via an email or a social media post or whatever? Uh, and this guy's the master of all that stuff. And so I'm excited about that. We're going to wrap up here, but I want you guys to tune in, you know, the next time Mark and I are, are chatting because we're going to talk about how have we set this community and this mastermind up to be able to serve you, whether you are just beginning, whether you're just a dreamer, or whether you are running a multiple six figure, seven figure business, how can we help you and serve you? And we've set it up perfectly for that. So I'm excited to have that chat with you, Mark. Is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up here? No, I think the only thing that's coming up for me is I'm going to intro the next podcast episode just to confuse your audience a little. (laughs) That'll be perfect because they'll still hear my voice saying, this is your weekly moment of growth. All right, brother, we'll talk to you soon. I want to thank you for being a part of the Purpose Chasers community and invite you to seek the support that allowed me to take my stand towards creating the life of my dreams. Join our exclusive members-only Facebook group at The Purpose Chasers. Also, follow us on all social media platforms at The Purpose Chasers. Until we connect again, remember to live your life like it's the only one you have because your dreams should never be on hold.